source transformation. Why do we use source transformation? We do that to simplify circuits. It allows us to exchange a voltage source in the series resistor for a current source in the parallel resistor and vice versa. The relationship between those combinations is given by the following equation. IS equals VS divided by R, where S stands for source. So the current source must equal the voltage source value divided by the resistor value. When applying source transformation, we have to keep in mind two things. This method does not work if R equals zero. So we have to have a, a real value for the resistors. And um, the other thing is the arrow of the current source, as we can see here, must point towards the positive terminal of the voltage source and vice versa. So here is the positive uh, side of the voltage source and the arrow of the current source is point to the same direction. It's pointing up. And that uh, works the same way in the same way for the voltage source. So uh, how do we apply it in circuit analysis? Let's look to our circuit down here. The first thing that we have to look in the circuit is the a variable that we are trying to find. So if the variable we are trying to find is right here on on the right side and uh, we have to preserve this branch so we cannot touch on this part of the circuit. We have to work someplace else and try to get as close as we can to this branch without changing it so we can calculate the uh, current I sub zero in the end. So let's observe our circuit. We are not going to touch on this right side here. But uh, let's look here. Is there any way we can combine those two resistors, the 20K and the 80K? No, we cannot. Is there any other uh, resistor combination here besides those two here that we are not going to touch right now? No, we don't see anything. So uh, the best thing to do right now is to apply source transformation. We can see here if we apply source transformation on this side here, on those two components, we have this configuration. We can change for uh, to a current source and a parallel resistor. Once we have the parallel resistor, we can combine with this ADK resistor. So let's do it. Well, here we have the source transformation that we already did it. and uh, I'm not going to draw all the components but just the ones we need in each step. These three dots here up here and down here are just to show that we have uh, here uh, is just what we have here is just a piece of the circuit. So let's see we have the ADK resistor that is up here. Uh, how we do it? We uh, had before a voltage source and a series resistor. Now we have a parallel resistor and a current source. What it is the value of this resistor? So it is, if you look uh, on this diagram up here, we see that here we have for the resistor R and here is also R. So the value is the same we had before. So it's 20K. Okay. Uh, what about the current source? The current source follows this uh, equation here. So we are going to divide the voltage source value by the resistor value. And that will give us 5 milliamps. So, okay, now we have two resistors in parallel and we can combine them. So here we have the two resistors in parallel. We are going to combine those two resistors. Let's put them right here. So here we have our current source and the combination of the 20K and 80K resistor will give us a 16K value. So okay, now we got rid of one resistor. We uh, Instead of two, we have one. That's good. We are 
simplifying our circuit, let's add the two more components, the 3K and the 1K ohm. So now we look here again, and can we simplify this circuit? Can we combine those resistors? No, we cannot. They are not in series, they are not in parallel. So let's uh, apply source transformation again. We are going to change the blue part of our circuit here to a voltage source and a series resistor. Now we have a voltage source and a series resistor. And as we have done before, the resistor keeps its value. So here we have 16K. And the voltage source will follow the same equation. So we are going to multiply the current source value times the resistor. So it will be 5 milli times 16K. That will give us uh, 80 volts. Let me put it here. And I, I forgot to mention before, and we have to pay attention to this. Here, uh, the positive terminal of the voltage source must be on the same side of the arrow tip. So here the arrow tip is pointing down, and the positive terminal of the voltage source, it is uh, um, down. So uh, let's look to our circuit again. What we can see now that we have the 16K and 3K ohms in series. So those resistors here are in series. As well, the 1K ohm is also in series because uh, as we can see here, this is just a big mesh and we those components are all in series. So let's add them. Now we have the combination of those three resistors, which is 20K. And this is part of our blue side um, piece of circuit. I add two more components and we are going to work with them now. So we look to this piece of circuit here and uh, we think, can we do anything with them? No, they, uh, there's no way we can combine those components. So we apply source transformation again. So here we have the source transformation and uh, our resistor value is the same, it's 20K because it was 20K up here. And the current source value will be 80 volts uh, divided by the resistor value, 20K. That will give us 4 milliamp. And uh, as I said before, the arrow of the current source must point towards the positive terminal of the voltage source. So it is pointing now because I have the uh, positive terminal of the voltage source on this side. Uh, now we look to this part of the circuit. Can we combine those components? Yes, uh, if you, we, we can see right here that this 20K, uh, let me change the color here. So we have the 20K resistor in parallel with the 60K resistor. So we can combine them. Uh, a better way to see this, if let me put it here. If, if we look to this picture here on the right side, we can see that will give us a better picture. Uh, that here, uh, let, let me pick up another color. Uh, this point, this node, this node, this and this, they are all the same point, the same node. And uh, this picture shows exactly what I'm saying right now. So we can see that the resistor in blue and the, the one in red, which represents 60K and the blue 20K, are in parallel. So we can combine them. The same th thing uh, happens to the current sources. Uh, we can see here that the blue one and the red one are in parallel as well. So remember that current, current sources in parallel, they add. And uh, since they are uh, the direction of the current uh, in the current source, they are in the different directions here. The blue one is pointing down and the red one is pointing up. So they are in the opposite directions. We are going to subtract their values, and uh, the the direction that we are going to keep it is the bigger the val the current source that has the bigger value, which is twelve milliamp. 
when we combine them we are going to get 15 okay and the, here is our current source it is the current in the current source is pointing up because the 12 milliamps is bigger than 4 milliamps when we add them up uh, the, since they are in the op in opposite directions we are going to get 8 milliamps uh, now we are going to add the rest of the circuit right here here we have our 5k, 10k, and the current there we are trying to find, which is I sub zero. And uh, we look here, can we combine the 15k with 5k or 10k? No, we cannot, so we need to perform source transformation once more. So here we have now a simple circuit, series, uh, all resistors are in series, simple to to calculate and the resistor here will be 15k because of the value here and here I will multiply 8 milliamps times 15k and I will have 120 volts so now it's easy we need to find I sub 0 since this is a series a circuit in series I sub 0 will be nothing more than the value of the voltage, the voltage here, and the equivalent, divided by the equivalent resistance, which is 120 divided by 30K. And that will uh, result in 4 milliamps. And that's it. Thanks for watching.